Welcome to DIY Automotive School with my friend Pete and Minnie the Body Shop Girl. It's everything you need to know about cars and more. Okay, how y'all doing out there? This is Pete. Uh, we're over here at SWRNC today, and we had a visitor come over about what? When did you come over? Last week. Was it last week? Okay, so uh, we got Jason over here. He's from Oak Cliff, which is a, a local place right here in Dallas. Beautiful old vintage neighborhood. He's had a job for a very long time, works his ass off at his job, uh, highly qualified for the job that he does. What do you do, Jason? I'm a route delivery driver. Right, but how long have you been working there? That's what I'm asking. Seven years. Been there seven years, very responsible and takes care of his shit. And uh, he came over here, watches my videos. Am I right? Have you watched a lot of them? Uh, I don't know, probably 50 or 60. Okay, 50 or 60 guy, that's great. Uh, every view counts. Um, so he's getting into watching my videos and he found out I was right here in the Dallas area. So he decided to come on over, shake a hand, and make a friend. And he's got a very unique truck. I actually like the truck, I think it's pretty cool. Uh, I used to have a 77 model. What's this, an 82, 84? 82. Okay, this is an 82 truck we're going to look at. And, you know, the 77 kind of uh, is a vintage classic truck now, even all the way up to, uh, I believe it was 85, 86, 87. 87, I believe, was the last, no, 86 was the last year of the body style of this truck here. And then from there they went to the newer body style. But he's got a truck that uh, needs some tender loving care TLC. And I told Jason, you know, I really don't have time to fuck with your truck, dude. I'm not a truck fucking guy. I don't like trucks. But Jason turned out to be a pretty nice guy. And we're getting to know Jason over here. And uh, he's going to help me today with a few little issues that he has. And one of the issues is his homemade battery box. Now, he has an Omni battery in this thing. And um, if you're looking at this truck and, and know anything about these Chevy trucks, where his battery is located on there is where the air conditioner and heater unit used to be on this vehicle. So there's more than likely, obviously, a big hole behind that. And somebody took a piece of aluminum sheet metal and screwed it on there with sheet metal screws. And then TIG welded or welded on this aluminum bracket to hold his battery. Now another thing that Jason's got on this truck, he's got air ride suspension. And if you look down in there, you can see there's an airbag right there. And is this a four-way, Jason? Does it go up and down, back and back, side to side? Only front and back. It doesn't go, it doesn't bounce or nothing like that? It's not one, it's not a hopper? Okay. All right, he's got a two-way suspension uh, airbag system on this. And when he had it dropped down, if you look at the tire right here, uh, when he had it parked at his house, the tire actually hits the battery box. So we got to raise this battery box up. But the only way that I'm going to do it is the right fucking way, because this way here, this is called bullshit. This is a bullshit situation that says whoever did this was in a hurry, didn't know what the fuck they were doing, and fucked it up when they did it. Jason, uh, how you doing, buddy? Pretty good, now okay. that I'm here. So you came over here and you said, my friend Pete, i got to do this, but i got a situation. Um, I'm afraid that this metal bracket that I'm going to put on here is going to rust. Am I right? Yeah, it already had a little bit of surface rust already had rust some it. surface rust, and, and people, they get so, uh, so panic attacky and anxiety over rust that you thought maybe if you put this on there, it might rust out. Am I right? Yeah. Okay, so I told you to grab the Scotch Brite, and you didn't really know what the Scotch Brite was used for until after I explained it. Am I right? Yes, sir. 
Okay, are you learning anything yet, Jason? Yes, sir. Coming over here to my friend Pete's DIY Auto School SWRNC Southwest Rod Custom Shop. What are you learning, bud? Um, to come to Pete. Yeah? <laughs> what else? You even said that uh, I was aggressive. Hell yeah. And I'm an aggressive person, and, and you're kind of shocked, and, and why am I so fucking aggressive? That's what you're asking me. Why? Why would you ask me that? Because Being the guy not, that I am. It's not usual to be that aggressive. Huh. So you're saying living in this world, day and age, we shouldn't be aggressive. We should just agree with everything going on. I say fuck that, Jason. You keep saying it, and you'll be fine. Okay, dude? All right. Are you camera shy? You seem a little camera shy. I'm working. Are you all right? Yes, sir. Okay. Loosen up, Jason. Okay? Loosen up, bud. So let's take a look at Jason's truck and see what the fuck's going on with it. Um, he also wants to know about maybe possibly scuffing it down and painting it black uh, because it is actually black, but somebody painted it with Krylon spray cans, which I strongly and strongly suggest that you do not spray your car with fucking spray cans. It's the most stupidest, pathetic thing that you can do, even if it's just a quickie job. You can go buy a cheap spray gun at uh, your local hardware big box corporation store and you could buy a couple gallons of cheap inexpensive paint and spray it with that and it would look a lot better than this piece of shit right fucking here when I say piece of shit I'm talking about the paint job look at how pathetic and and very cruel the uh, previous owner treated this vehicle it's just it's just a fucking joke that he even sprayed over the fucking marker lights and didn't even take his time to tape those off. What a fucking clown act that is right there. this truck and you're saying to yourself well that's not a that's not a custom truck that's a donk that's one of them big donkers that belong with rap music you're wrong this is not a donk this is a custom ride and when the airbags are actually down it actually looks really really nice as far as being a custom uh, street truck so what we're going to do is we're going to negotiate a situation and probably scuff this piece of shit down and at least try to make it look like the black paint on my little Volkswagen bug that we call Buford um, because that's kind of what he's looking for just a nice clean flat black sheen, sheen look uh, no body work required he just wants to have it looking you know uh, semi uh, gloss black and all even and Steven that it needs to be because Jason claims that he's got a lot of uh, body work to do on it and he doesn't really want to tie all his money up into body work he'd rather go ahead and get all the mechanical work done and I think he's doing it the right way by doing that uh, getting the mechanical work the wiring this that and the other and then come back later and do all the body work so we'll see what we can do for Jason on that but right now we're trying to get our battery mounted in there so how's our battery uh, box doing there Jason coming along good how's it looking dude it looks like you got that thing scuffed down better than brand new that's what I want dude I gotta have it looking good but because when you spray paint that it's gonna look good am I right yes sir are you a spray painter guy you like using spray paint I'm, I don't, I don't, I don't mess with that. You've never used spray paint? Nah. You're fucking joking me. Nah. How old are you, Jason? 34. And you've never used a can of spray paint in your life? I'm not a tagger. What the hell would I be doing with that? What the fuck, dude? You've never spray painted anything in your life. So maybe, this is all brand new to you. I mean, maybe when I was 12 years wow. old. Wow. I don't know. So this is all brand new to you. Yep. So you didn't really think that you were going to be helping my friend Pete. You thought I was just, you were just going to come over and hang out and watch while I did all the fucking work. Pretty fucking Are you much. fucking joking me, Jason? <laughs> Are you fucking joking me here? You're gonna stand around and watch while I do all the fucking work? What the fuck's going on with that? Are you fucking joking me? Jason! I'm sorry, dude. Uh, I, don't, I don't mean to act like you're in the army or the military, but I'm trying to wake you up and tell you this is a, a two-way street we live on here, see? Well, I okay. grew up with hard It's a two-way like street situation, dude. You help me, I help you. We get the shit out of here and go down the fucking road happy. How does that sound, Jason? Magnificent. Okay. So you get that scuffed down while my friend Pete gets this piece of shit fucking uh, homemade job off the truck and fabricates a new panel and, uh, yeah, fixes them up with a brand new battery box. What a fucking mess.
So now you can understand why my day is actually ruined because I wasn't planning on doing this. I forgot that he was going to come back over and, uh, you know, hang out, you might say, and, and work on his truck. But uh, he's already here and I really can't tell him to go fuck off. The best thing to do is just get it done and get her done right. Because if you ain't doing it right, you ain't doing it at all. Have you ever heard me say that, Jason? Yes, sir. Hello? Yes. Uh, I'm over here. I can't hear you. Yes. Come on over here and show us some unique features of your truck. I know you want to show everybody. Come on, bud. What do you got? <laughs> Let's start here in the back. What's going on in the back, dude? Well, I just put this fuel cell in a couple of weeks ago because okay. the gas tank was leaking. Brand out. new fuel cell. Now, was that already painted black or did you spray paint it? Uh, I was already okay. painted black. Okay. Ain't that a lucky motherfucker for you? And then I put in that air tank that I bought a couple uh -huh, years ago. Uh -huh. Now you put that in yourself. Me and my buddy. So you did all that work yourself. Are, nah, you, are you proud of that? Hell yeah, I am. Are you proud that you even helped your buddy do that? Hell and yeah. and you and him did it all by yourself and got it done. Now I'm looking at this airline here and it's going through your uh, triangular four link. Is that going to rub on there and cause a leak or no? The hell if I know. So what if that's rubbing on that and, and causes a leak in the airline, then you're fucked. That might be fucked. Can you still drive the truck when the air's all the way out of the bags? But that's what I got you for, bud. Okay, thank you, Jason. You're gonna teach me all the shit I need to know to fix this wow. into a beautiful ride. Okay, well, uh, class starts next year, uh, <laughs> okay, when I go to Moab, Utah, dude. <laughs> all right, so you got the air ride suspension out here. Let me ask you this, dude. Um, have you ever had a problem with your air pumps ever going bad on your compressors? No. Never at all? No. Okay. And I see all this wiring and all this other shit. What's going on with that? What's that for? What wiring? All this... Fucking, yeah, that crap there. What's that? Shit. Uh, is that this, just your... this is this is airlines right okay, here. Okay, that's an airline, and then and then I've got uh, right. stuff going back to fuel speed tank controllers. To get, you speed know, controllers. Tank. Yeah, the back has speed controllers. What's on a it? speed controller? Well, a speed controller controls. Oh, how the, fast it goes up and down. Yes, it, it also muffles the sound whenever you raise oh, the air. Oh, so it does. So it does sound like uh, uh, diesel uh, air right. And the the front, the jackasses who had the truck before uh -huh. me. They located the, I don't know what it's called, but they located the pieces somewhere inside of the frame or inside of the the, uh, the control arms, and I right. can't get to it to add a muffler, so the front is loud and obnoxious wow. sounding. All right, so what's going on inside the truck, bud? Let's see that custom interior. Oh, that ain't custom. Okay, let's see that ultra me. custom leather interior you got there. fucking custom. What's going on with that, dude? What do we got going custom that's customized in here besides that little truck? controller well, job you got there well i've got a uh, quite the loud system back here okay hold on let's see dude capacitors son of a fuck motherfuck bitch whore what the fuck's going on with that got, two ball bitch i've got 24 interior speakers wow and uh, there's 24 speakers in this yeah. truck hidden uh -huh. all in the back everywhere son of a bitch everywhere. now is that diamond audio or no nah, i've got i got a combination of jl mb quartz uh, all kinds of stuff. Now, was that in the truck when you bought it? Oh, hell no. I put all that shit in. So you're proud of your, your system. You got your proud hell of your yes, truck. I you love your truck. And now, uh, you had uh, one of your nephews call you up on the mm -hmm. phone when a minute ago. You said you had three or four nephews. I have 13 nieces and nephews. And three they all look sisters. up to you. Yes, sir. Is that right? Mm -hmm. They all look up to you and uh, proud to be your uncle, their uncle. I'm their favorite uncle. I'm going to pick up one tomorrow morning. That's great, dude. Now, what are y'all going to do? Oh, we're going to hang out. Just hang out yep. and uh, have a good time? Yep. Are you keeping them out of trouble? Yes, sir. Are you Try raising them right? Yep. I'm are their you father telling figure. Them, telling them to do the right fucking thing? Yeah, in a fucked up world. Tired. In a fucked up world. We're not getting into that. We're not on cork here, dude. Okay. That's another day in another channel. All right, so we got your custom interior. We got your... Uh, custom uh, bed action going on here. Are you ever going to weld that up and, and cover it up, or is that the, the well, look? Well, the goal is is to mount the air components, uh -huh. get smaller ones, and mount them underneath the vehicle, get a okay. custom fuel cell built underneath the vehicle, right, right. and then cover the bed so it's an actual functional truck right. and a toy. I, I, I can't, I'm too old, I'm 34, I can't afford to just have a toy. It has to be able to be functional. And that's why you want to go ahead and just scuff it down and paint it black because you got a lot of other yeah. shit going on and, and you know it's a one step situation because you're not rich, I'm not rich. That's right. Uh, we work for a living and, and it takes money and time to do everything right unless you are rich and you can just buy it that way. That's right. But there's no fun in that Jason. There's no fun in just buying something that's already done. Oh it isn't. I mean, you, you told me you were proud of the air tank and, and you helping out or whoever the fuck did it. You're proud of that because you actually did help out. Now you're going to be proud because you sanded your battery fucking thing and painted it with a spray can that you claim you've never used in your whole life. I will be. What do you think that's going to be like? 
Spraying a spray can the first time in your life. I watched a few of your videos. Okay, thank you very much. Shake a hand, make a friend. Thank you, Jason. Let me get this battery shit going. We're wasting time here. We'll be back when it's all done. And hopefully you learned something over here and uh, had a good time doing it. All right? Hello? Hell yeah. Okay, thank you, Jason. Thank you. Thank you. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that piece of shit panel off of there, and then once I get that panel off, I'm going to go ahead and fabricate a new panel to cover it with metal. Uh, that way we can go ahead and weld his uh, battery box to it. And then once that's done, uh, we'll go ahead and shoot it with some spray paint for now. Uh, and then Jason should be ready to go, and his tires should be in good shape and won't fucking go flat on him anymore. We'll be back. Jason's in the paint booth putting his final coat on his bracket. Did you get it? Yep. Okay, let that dry. Keep your rust only. You're going to need it for later. Right. said 15 well, minutes on it. Okay, well, we don't need to wait that long, dude. We're in Texas. Okay? Is this fucking guy tall or what? Where are you at there? There you are. Son of a bitch. I'm six foot five. Are you proud to be tall? Hell yeah. Okay, what about short people, dude? They're all right. Everybody they, can get, they can get into the desk, I'll get the things off the high shelf, we all work all right. together. All right. And you can actually see how tall Jason is. He's a big son of a bitch. We don't want to fuck with Jason. Uh, so we're going to treat him fair and square so he leaves my property happy. But anyway, back to the battery box. What we got here, check this out, dude. What are you thinking, Jason? Looks good. Does it look nice? Way better. Did we do a good job? Hell yeah. Okay, we had to hook the battery up to get your truck down on the ground to make sure that our tire is not going to hit our fucking bullshit fucking cocksucker piece of shit fucking uh uh jerry rigged fucking battery box that we see right here um you can see the jerry rig operation here. Uh, who did that that's a piece of shit jason it's a fucking junk piece of shit look at it all right they took a piece of scrap iron and and, and screwed the motherfucker in and then actually put a fucking battery box on the piece of thing that had four screws holding it are you fucking joking me, guy? You could have been going down the road and the whole battery fall off the fucking firewall. I know, that's why I came to you. Let's show everybody how we fucking did it. So what I did, if you look behind the battery uh, box or whatever you want to call it, cage, you can see that I made a nice little panel, professional panel, and I went ahead and screwed it on there very, very securely. And then what I did is make sure I used carriage bolts, and before I put the carriage bolts in, I wanted to make sure that I went through the firewall itself. So I marked off where the heater box opening was and I went up higher so I can make sure that those bolts are on each side of that and we catch the firewall. We also went ahead and added two to the top. Once the battery's in there and you put the top bracket on, this thing will be solid as a fucking rock. you're looking for Jason yes sir all right dude let's get that battery in there let's finish her out dude hopefully we don't run into problems with the fucking cables all right so we're gonna take the battery once again we had to hook that up to get it down on the ground because he's got electric solenoids you want to show everybody your little truck uh, your controller it's pretty unique I really like it I thought it was pretty awesome okay we got our custom plug on the back here this is a nice little toy uh, and what Jason did he took this uh, toy and he mounted his up and down switches in it and it, it's a pretty unique situation this is actually his controllers okay so you got your on and off button here and then this is up and down front and back is that it all right so that might be a little unique situation um, to do and uh, you can always say Jason turned me on to it all right so the system we're using over here it's a, a special custom bracket made for the Omni uh, battery but the situation you have is you have to bolt this shit together to hold it together okay so, give me the bolts, dude. 
cross your fucking fingers that uh, those bolts are long enough or short enough. Because I think they're too long. Those are the ones I was looking at on your seat. They weren't looking good, dude. And then that goes up there. And if I'm holding it right, can you start that screw on there, please? There you go. Come on. Start it on there. This thing's heavy, Jason. Come on, dude. Don't, oh. fuck, with, don't fuck with me. All right. Thank you. Okay. Let me get my air ratchet. We'll tighten that up and hook it up. Professional, dude. Okay, dude. It's in there like a fucking rock. What are you thinking, bud? Huh? I'm real happy. What do you think, dude? You like it? Woo! It was an all-day job, but well worth it. Right, Jason? Mm -hmm. All right. Another happy customer is going to be leaving my friend Pete's uh, parking lot. Um, did it the most unique way we could. We did it the best way we could. And I think it came out fucking awesome. We're doing it right, doing it right. Because that's the only way we're going to do shit over here is the right fucking way. Looks good. I like it. We didn't have to weld anything. We saved Jason uh, some money by doing that. Uh, so I'm sure he's going to be happy. And um, it'll last him a lifetime as he uh, takes the long journey of restoring his truck to the professionalism that this truck deserves. Beautiful truck that it is. Nice truck. Uh, 82 Chevy short bed. I think it's an awesome truck. And... Uh, I'm not a truck guy, Jason. I'm not a fucking truck guy. I hate fucking trucks. But I like your truck, dude. Brings back memories when I had mine. Take it easy. Shake your hand. Make a friend. Right there. Okay. Right there. And do you got anything to say to anybody out there in the world of anything at all, of any interest or, or anything? Pete's fucking hilarious, okay. just like on YouTube. Yeah. Thank you very much for all that comment, and uh, hopefully we'll see you again, bud. Now, we're going to be painting your truck pretty soon, right? Hell yeah. Huh? All right. Rep black. Rep we're going to go ahead and do a rat rod black quickie on it? Yep. Okay. All right, dude. Go deliver them ices. I'm getting thirsty. <laughs> All right. Take it easy, bud. So there you go. One more person down the road. One more happy customer that says my friend Pete did a kick-ass fucking job, and I love it. And saved him money. All in one fucking shebang. watching DIY Automotive School. Classes don't stop till you know everything.